I'm Subodh Verma. I'm a heart surgeon at St. Michael's Hospital. In addition to working as a heart surgeon, I also do basic and translational uh, research in the area of cardiovascular disease. One of my areas of interest relate to a breast cancer gene and its role in heart and vascular disease. And I get uh, asked quite often, you know, how did you get into this area? Uh, what was the inspiration behind uh, looking at a gene that in fact is so critical in cancer and trying to link that to heart disease? Let me share with you uh, my experience. Uh, I had a chance to uh, uh, chat with uh, Professor Bill Stanford, just a fireside chat over coffee, uh, discussing his research interest, and you know, he's a stem cell biologist working in the area of cancer. And he told me about his, his interest in this gene, BRCA1, how it works, uh, and some of the, uh, the limitations that he was facing with respect to you know, developing a mouse model. And I uh, went back home that night and I thought about, you know, BRCA1 and it actually, uh, you know, got me uh, searching on the website as to what BRCA1 is all about and whether anything is known about it in the heart. We took that idea forward and uh, several years later have now been able to link BRCA1 as an important regulator of heart and vascular health. As a clinician and a researcher, we often see the two extremes. We, we often see an idea and we know that that idea is going to take many, many years to translate into effective treatments. And at the other end of the spectrum as a doc, we see the significant unmet need and immediate need that our patients have. And often this whole concept of translation, that's what translation is, is can you somehow, you know, bring the bench closer to the bedside? And that's the beauty of the Li Ka Shing Knowledge Institute, is that it spans the bench to the bedside. So I'm excited. It's a great opportunity for us to be able to bring our ideas, uh, refine them, uh, you know, expedite them, and in fact share them with a bunch of smart individuals uh, to help make our patients, their outcomes better, and uh, in fact to put Canada on the global map with respect to research and development.